we've often heard elders telling us to chew a food about 32 times now why do they say so well this is because we have saliva in our mouth that contains enzymes that digests or breaks down the carbohydrates so more the number of time you chew the more carbohydrates will get digested so saliva contains two enzymes amylase and maltase now amylase converts starch which is a polysaccharide into maltose which is a disaccharide so the function of amylase is to break down starch into maltose now maltose is a disaccharide for the body to absorb carbohydrates it needs to get uh, break broken down into smaller particles so another enzyme present in saliva known as maltase breaks down these disaccharide maltose into monosaccharides glucose now these glucose molecules are small enough to be absorbed by the body so what is the function of saliva apart from digesting carbohydrates well this is a real life video taken under a scanner which shows a man chewing the food first in his mouth and then swallowing it while chewing the food mixes with saliva saliva lubricates the food that is it moistens the food so that there is easy passage of food through the esophagus now the structure that helps mix food with saliva is known as the tongue the tongue is mixing the food with the saliva thus moistening and lubricating the food so the structures that help in the mastication or breakdown of food and swallowing are the teeth saliva and the tongue now where is this saliva originating from well see saliva is originating from three areas in the mouth and this saliva helps in the smooth passage of food down the esophagus so there are three salivary glands present in the mouth this salivary gland that is present in under the tongue is known as sublingual sub means below and lingual means tongue now the second salivary gland present here is known as the sub mandibular salivary gland sub means below and mandibular means the jaw see this salivary gland or the sub mandibular salivary gland is present just below the jaw line and the third salivary gland that is present in the mouth is known as the parotid gland this parotid gland is present near the ears this is the parotid gland so all these three salivary uh, glands produce the saliva in our mouth that helps in the digestion of carbohydrates and also lubricates the food for the easy passage of food down the esophagus now you'll be surprised to know that we generate almost 1.5 liters of saliva in our mouth every day you've often seen dogs and cats licking their wounds and their fur 
even you and me, whenever we get small cuts in our finger, our immediate reaction is to put our finger in our mouth. So why do we do that? This is because saliva contains an antibacterial agent which prevents all these skin irritations that occur in the wounds because of the growth of all the microorganisms in them. So since this is an antibacterial agent, it kills the bacteria that are present in the wound. Thus, it helps in removing the itchiness or the uncomfort associated with wounds on the skin.